science is something that rather fascinates me, but my knowledge of it starts and ends with O-level physics and chemistry. And textiles interested me because I'd always thought of it in a fairly traditional sense. You know, you think about the cloth workers court and all those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. And uh, as part of the, um, through the alumni office, I got involved in the early stages of the campaign and were was talking to various people about different things that they wanted to, to raise money for or bits of research they wanted to do. And I was just blown away really by what textiles are doing. Uh, you know, it's just moved on so much from, you know, what one thinks of as the traditional sort of things. And um, I was privileged to actually go up to the um, university and see some of the, 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 the stuff that they're producing. And a lot of work they're doing around um, medical uses and, and wound and incontinence and those sorts of things just, just seem to be a very useful, if slightly unsexy, sort of thing to support. Incontinence has a huge impact on people's lives and I was also struck by um, a piece written by a Times journalist, Melanie Reed, who had a horse riding accident about four or five years ago and is now tetraplegic and she talks a lot about the sorts of issues that, that, that paralysed people have to cope with. You know, it can destroy their confidence, they won't go out of the house, and it's the sort of thing where it's not like a big ticket item, like a heart transplant or something that is transformative in that sense, but I think it could make such a difference to a person's life to, to give them more confidence that they can actually go out into the world, and it just seemed to be a very worthwhile thing to support. I went to Leeds and met Montu Basak, who's the PhD scholar that I'm supporting um, in this research. He is doing a fantastic job. He's come from India, he's left his wife and, and young child behind. And, you know, I think all credit to him for doing that. And he's clearly enjoying his research very much. And it was great to talk to him and to hear about what he's doing. And, you know, to, to personalise it in that way and to really feel that that's something that I'm helping with was a great feeling.